Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to Dawn of War Soulstorm once again. I keep forgetting the name of the game I'm playing. When we last left off, we beat the Eldar a few times, they tried to retaliate, and we beat them back because with the Necrons we don't die that easily. Necrons in the base game are a little bit overpowered, in the early game anyway. I don't know so much about the late game, I can't remember. I mainly remember Ultimate Apocalypse. Anyway, it's time to take the fight to the Eldar once again. Uh, or we could hit the end turn button instead of the commander screen. That works too. Doesn't matter too much, just gets me some extra requisition. Oh, Space Marines won against the Tau, I think. I wasn't really paying attention. Ah, the Eldar did not come at us. Right. Let us make a wraith. Super useful for scouting. Uh, right, so what do we get from here? We get some destroyers. Excellent. Some tier 2 units. I'm not going to complain about that. Now, this place is going to be a little bit harder to break. Purely down to... Uh, Actually, while I'm here, so I forgot to do. I can't boost that anymore. Interesting. All right. Well, we shall have to. Uh, I've. I put up the sensitivity on my mouse, didn't I? Right. There we go. Yes. Um. What was I saying? Yeah, I noticed the last video was a little quiet. I'll have to uh, resolve that for part three. But for now, I'm afraid you'll just have to uh, deal with there being very little sound. Right now, I'm fairly certain that they're going to be in the bottom section. So let's go harass them a bit. Or maybe just break them entirely. Knowing my luck, though, they're probably going to go around the other way. Oh, no. They might be over here. Where's their main force? There they are. Yep, I knew it. Right, get the Necron Lord up there. I should be able to beat her fairly easily now. Yeah, she's got 1,300 health, I've got 4,000. I've got more attack than she has, and I've got more range damage than she has. So, it's not going to be a... It's not going to be too difficult an encounter, I don't think. Uh, I love the, uh, the Wraith. So useful. Yeah, I'm just better across the board. The only thing I've got less of is morale. Right, now they're... The Banshees are probably going to take out my Wraith, so let's back up a bit. Yeah, this time it's more a case of... We're going to need some units. It's not going to be a case of just rushing them. Sadly. Get up. Boom. Stab. 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 You know, I'm noticing a pattern here. That's some, uh, some nice varied animations there from the Necron Lord of all Caravan. Oh, no, but he did a different attack. My god. I don't think the Necron Lord actually has anything that can improve his morale. And it looks like, yeah, the lack of morale's weakened him, but it looks like he's pretty much won. Yep. Wee. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, no, let's use the ob. Let's put an obelisk down first. Let's not use the obelisk. Uh, right. Where is? Right, so the shortcut for that is B, then it would be O, wouldn't it? No, it's L. <sighs> it's 
stupid hot case. Let's put another plasma generator. I think, yeah, they're two different. Oh, hello. Yeah, those adding banshees are going to cause some problems, I think. Where's my wraith, by the way? Don't tell me I've lost it. Yeah, even the, even the Howling Banshees can't take out... Oh no, the Wraith is in there. Yeah, the Howling Banshees can't take out my Death Touch God. It's, I think they captured a relic. I should probably get to their base as soon as possible. Alright. Uh, I don't need another one of those. Do you need Disruption Field, though? In theory. These are free, I might as well just spam them out. No reason not to. Let's head off. Alright, yeah, sadly the uh, disruption field is the only upgrade, I think. For, if I remember correctly of that variety. Or do the immortals have one as well? I can't remember. Ooh! Farseer's back already. Uh, you're a bit preoccupied. Take out the Howling Banshees, please. The Wraith can take on the Farseer, it's fine. No, the Wraith can't take on the Farseer, it's not fine. Because that's not got a bonus versus Commanders, has it? I forgot about that. I'm still getting things confused with... Uh, oh, what's it called? Ultimate Apocalypse. Another problem with this, the main, uh, with the base game, is that in an attempt to balance these artifacts slightly, you're only allowed three. You're not allowed, like, all of them. Like you can in uh, UA. Alright. I need more generators. But I need more power, for which I need more generators. All right, start working our way towards the base. We should have enough units here. That Wraith, on the other hand, you can go back to base. Because I do not trust you to stay alive. And I'm not paying the 250 requisition to get him back. All right. Oh, hello. I'm sorry. I don't believe you're welcome here. Well, I'm going in a base race, I would beat them quite easily. Uh, you know, it doesn't help with this whole morale situation. I'd normally be quite comfortable leaving him in there, but... Uh, <laughs> the Howling Banshee's having trouble taking out my Builder Scarabs as well, apparently. I think I've already won them. Okay, that's fair enough. Smack! Eh, I didn't do as much damage as I thought. Alright, it's. Uh... Alright, get them! Yeah, then I don't think they're gonna win. They might be able to keep them busy though, until my thing's recharged again. Did my Wraith get back to base, or did it get killed by those Banshees? It looks like it got killed by those Banshees. That's kind of annoying. Okay, I was mistaken. They are going to win. That just proves why Necrons are so powerful in this game. Oh no, that's still A. Good. I forgot the hotkey for attack move. That's never a good sign. Ooh, no. No. Okay. I thought there was a fly on the end of my uh, microphone. It wasn't. 
I'm just imagining things. I've got my window closed, so it's really warm in here. Just purely to try and negate the sound of me shouting into a microphone. I say shouting. It's not really shouting, is it? It's more of... Well, it's not shouting for me. I'm a lot louder than I otherwise imagined, should we say. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. This was a cakewalk, though I might have lost my wraith, which is a tad irritating. Right. Now we've just got to hunt down all the uh, all the remaining buildings. Uh, oh, what's up here? Oh, there's a webway gate up there. That counts. Uh, when it comes to annihilate victories, uh, let's get a wraith. All right. Take out that support platform first. That deals damage if the webway gate doesn't. Not unless it trains something. But uh, in the base... Oh! We won. Um, yeah, in the base game they only train shuriken, cannon and bright lance platforms, so... Destroyer gained. If I go here... Yes! The Howling Banshees intercepted my wraith. I'm more interested in the. Uh, actually, I just thought they're probably going to. Uh, let's, ah, can I get one? If I only get one, then I might want the immortals more than the. I could get. Hmm. Oh, why'd it have to be 85? Let's get the immortals. I imagine they're going to attack here, Harad. Because that's only got a strength of one, so... No, they moved along. Yeah. Tower one. And now they're about to get smashed by the orcs. Yeah, that planet's sort of a bit of a hotbed, because there's three, three factions there. Whereas all these other planets have two on. Unless, of course, you're playing as the Dark Eldar, in which case you can pretty much choose whichever planet you want to go to as your starting planet. Although normally they would fight chaos. Now then, all we can do is move. So, on the plus side though, we can now reinforce this province a bit more. I mean, technically, I could have, you know, retrained my wraith, but uh, uh, they've gone back to their stronghold. I think at this point, it's going to be a case of just saving up for the honor guard, and then taking their their capital. Unfortunately, that's going to take a lot longer than your standard ten-minute mission, but. Yeah, we'll see. Let's reinforce. No, not reinforce. I want commander. No, no. Train the wraith. And done. I like running this off an SSD. It's a lot faster than it used to be. Okay, she moved back again. Now, can I reinforce the adjacent province? I don't know if I can, I can't remember. But let's move there anyway, just to make sure she doesn't attack. Yep, good. I wonder if I should go for that five defense province. The orcs really aren't doing well, are they? They can't seem to keep a province. I mean, they've not lost their home. I don't know if the AI will actually go for the 
other players' home territories. But yeah, I'm going for the resource bonus. What do I just keep? Ah, no, I've got 600 requisitions. So that 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 extra power at the start might be nice if I'm going to attack a capital. And that fleet march is not as useful as you would think it would be. It's very useful for defense, but it's not like Fury from the Dawn of War Dark Crusade campaign, where it allows you to attack twice. In fact, I don't think any anyone's allowed to attack twice. They're forward base, aren't they? Yes, they are. What chaos. Ignore supply lines. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're allowed to go anywhere, as long as they've got a gate. Uh, fast population growth. Garrison populations automatically increase every number of turns. Huh. Interesting. Quite a useful defensive ability. Deep striking, yeah. I mean, technically it's not deep striking for Necrons. But. And the cannon, which is like... I consider it almost useless, because I never seem to notice much of a difference. It, I think it takes it down, takes the territory's defence down by about one. So unless it's going from five to four, where there'll be one less base, there's not. it's not really going to notice much of a difference. Unless it like kills defensive armies or something, I don't know. I've, I don't really remember there being much use to it. Uh, how are we doing? We're at 17 minutes, so what I'll do is I'll attack this one, and then we'll attack the Eldar's main hub next time. This one's going to be a little bit longer anyway, because the... Uh, Having more than fight, uh, more than four defense means so five and up means that they'll have two bases, which is slightly irksome. But thankfully, it looks like we spawned in a fairly good place, which is a bit of a. Hang on, that's only got one. Oh yeah, uh, more than one destroyer per squad is a. Um, I, th I think it's an ultimate apocalypse thing. All right. Thankfully, they don't have morale though. All right. So the two bases are up, up here. So let's go and see what we can see, shall we? Shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, although it's at five defense. It's, uh, they still have to build like we do, so. They shouldn't have too much of an army yet, unless they set a, uh, like a large defensive contingent. I don't know. I don't know. I'm surprised the game hasn't crashed yet. Of course, now I've said that, it probably will. But yeah, good luck taking on a destroyer with rangers. You're not going to succeed on that one. I mean, even without the whole armor values thing. Or counter system or whatever. Yeah. That don't work. Oh, hello. Again, good luck with that. I might lose one, but I'm not too concerned. Uh, summoning core. I'm not even going to lose one because they can't focus their fire properly. This sounds about right. Alright. Uh, they're running. Alright, never mind. Just... Let's go smash one of the bases. All right, let us make a turret, I think. Let's not allow the same thing that happened last time to happen here. Uh, 
uh, this is not good for my wraith. He's not made for fighting turrets. No matter. Let's make ourselves a... Oh yeah! Turrets can be placed anywhere in this, uh, can't they? Don't go over there, you moron. So it's quite clear they've set up uh, defences here. None of this, all of this is uh, pre-placed. Oh, destroyers. Those might pose a bit more of an issue. Yeah, those might be a little bit more problematic for me than uh, the standard guardians. I should, yeah, the death touch guard, I've got this. If they were just normal Necron Warriors, they might be a little bit more of a threat, but... Nah. Oh, hello. Back. Back. Alright. Can we get ourselves a teleport up here? Uh, is he getting attacked, or is he just... Was that the amount of damage he took? Right. Yep, they all died. God, we're really not doing much damage, are we? It's a little concerning. <laughs> no matter. Right, what I want to do is I want to go up here, take... Oh, good. Take a strategic point and uh, start. Right, they've got stealth. Yeah, and I want to start teleporting my units up. Oh, good, a Harlequin. This isn't going to go wrong or anything, is it? Alright, you know what? Teleport away. Can you guys teleport as well, please? No, nope, apparently it broke. Alright. Let's get rid of that. This isn't going quite as well as I planned. Alright. You back off. Get me some more wraiths. Okay, one more wraith. Yeah, apparently rushing this one wasn't a uh, particularly wise decision. How are they doing? Hang on, they're 35. The normal ones are 35, aren't they? Yeah. So despite being more powerful, they don't actually cost any extra. Right. Let's start taking on the Webware Assembly. They've finally taken out that. Only took about forever. No matter. Uh, Wraith. Don't need another one. I really, really need more power. Unfortunately, the plasma generators are not as effective as I remember. I don't know. Alright. Could be because I'm playing on a lower game speed than normal. This is a normal speed, whereas obviously normally I would be playing at the second from fastest, I think. Oh, hello. I see you take me on in melee. Naturally, they're doing pretty well. Yeah, they're doing alright. They're probably actually going to kill that Wraith. I don't mind that too much. Alright. Let's place another girl's turret down there. Sadly, yes, the, the Wraith is going to get its backside handed to it. Ugh. Still don't have enough. Goodbye. Right. Oh, oh, oh. 
He succeeded with seven health. Right. Teleport my units across. And that is a much faster way of doing it than just rallying, uh, rallying them over to the to the area. Oh, we've got our... Oh, you killed my wraith again. Stop, stop, stop moving. Jesus. Unfortunately, while we're doing this, the other Eldar is going to be building up their forces and probably going to have vehicles by this point. Uh, that's going to be interesting to fight. I do not have any anti-vehicle. And these warriors are not going to be enough. And I do not have a heavy destroyer, I've got a normal destroyer. So, yeah. Right, one down. Let's go see what we can kill, shall we? Let's do that. Right. BL. Something I should have done far, far earlier. No matter. 340. There we go. Going up to tier 2, finally. Only taken about half the mission. In fact, I think that's the first time we've ever started taking up to the next... Uh, the next... What's it called? Tier. Get rid of the turrets. Perfect. We're not doing too badly. The disruption field generator is probably helping a bit. Stop them from making the uh, is it Dark Reapers. Some of like that. And kill that Harlequin. That Harlequin's a pain. They're very good at disrupting formations, as you probably just noticed. Not that you could really call it a formation in this. It's not like Total War Warhammer 2, where like formation disruption can lead to massive morale penalties. This is a little bit different. It more just stops people from firing. Get rid of that turret. It's annoying me. Stomp, 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 stomp. Alright. It is unfortunate that uh, you can't really summon them as soon as they're trained. Obviously that's a balance thing. If you could, tra if you could summon them as soon as they're trained, they'd be even more overpowered. That said, I talk about, like, I talk as if I have some sort of knowledge of game balance. I don't really. I mean, my idea of balance is, uh, pretty much everything's the same. Like in Warcraft 2. To a degree. I mean, in Warcraft 2, a lot of the stuff is the same. But uh, they have different abilities, so obviously Paladin and Ogre Magi, and yeah, the Ogre Magi are probably more powerful than the human knights because of bloodlust. But then, at the same time, if you put the humans, uh, the AI as humans, then they're more powerful because they can like cast things perfectly I don't, know. I don't know what I'm talking about that's a very frequent occurrence with me but hey ho right I think short of that webway gate that is everything pew 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 what are they even firing So like, I mean, I know that those are star cannons, I think. 
you'd think stars would do a bit more damage to a, what is essentially a hunk of metal. Oh, I don't like that. This is going to be one of those things where it, they've hidden a building somewhere, isn't it? Alright, get the wraiths out. Actually, get it. Get some destroyers. No, get wraiths. Just in case they're stealthed. And we'll walk them over because we might have missed something. You do not have skimmer ability. You can't fly. Why can't you fly? I mean, you are literally on a skimmer. Why? Oh, I don't know. Right. There you are. Pests. God, immortals are weakened in this. It's a bone singer. Take him out. I mean, don't get me wrong, immortals are still decent, I suppose, but. They're useful for vehicle. Taking out vehicles. That's about it. Not so much buildings. In fact, why am I focusing on that? Focus on the webway gate. It's the last thing that there's. Yep. Yeah. So that was the last thing. Definitely a good idea I didn't go straight for the... Uh, the... Home place. All right then, I call that half an hour, so that will be it for today. So thank you very much for watching everybody, I hope you have enjoyed it. Until next time, where we will probably end up in a defensive battle, and we hopefully take over the Eldar uh, home or stronghold. That's going, to be a, uh, that's going to be a long mission though, so until then... I have been. Thank you very little, 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 little. Let me get my intro correct. Outro. My brain's not working today. It doesn't work any day. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed it. And until next time, I have been Caldaris. Goodbye. <laughs>